e solution i am manju sharma here today again with another video tutorial today my topic is human respiratory system about the chemical reactions of respiration and what is atp and what is respiration i have already covered in my previous videos you can see it is given in the link given here in my description box below now today's topic is human respiratory system and one more important thing that i have given all the to the point notes of all the video tutorials in my description box below students if you are interested you can take out write down the notes given there and before moving further please subscribe on to my channel and if you have some doubts or if you have some hot spots where you need some more explanation please write to me on my comment box so that i can make videos on your topic next so let's get started with human respiratory system now human respiratory system consists of lungs trachea bronchi uh, bronchioles alveoli and many other parts so let us take look of the different parts one by one the most important organ of human respiratory system is the lungs you can see here these are lungs and these are the most important part of the human respiratory system these lungs they are two in numbers these are two in numbers here they are very delicate organs and below them lies the diaphragm and to protect these delicate lungs there is ribs you can see here there are uh, ribs which protect the delicate lungs now it is located in this thoracic cavity here it is the diaphragm and above the diaphragm this part it is called as the thoracic cavity and below the diaphragm the part is known as the abdominal cavity where other digestive process systems organs are located in this abdominal cavity now if it is asked that what is the location of lungs or where the lungs are located you can write down the lungs are located in the thoracic cavity they are protected by the rib cage and they lie above the diaphragm so this is the location of the lungs above the diaphragm protected by the rib cage and located in the thoracic cavity if you have understood the location of the lungs please hit on the like button now let us see the different parts or different organs which are involved in the human respiratory system now the first organ is nose or the air enters in our body through our nose now nose nasal passage then pharynx from nasal passage the air moves into pharynx from pharynx the air moves into larynx from larynx it goes into trachea and after trachea it enters into both the lungs now let us have a look in these parts one by one the first the air enters in our body through the nose in nose in our nose we have two openings nasal openings <clears throat> that are also known as nostrils so the air enters in our body through the nostrils here through the nostrils this part the air enters and then passes into and then goes into the nasal passage here now the air is moved on here now this nasal passage the lining of our nose it consists of some mucus and also hairs these hairs and mucus what they do they filter out the air and it does particles or any foreign bodies they remove from the nose and hence stop them to move further in our respiratory system now after the nasal passage the air enters into the pharynx this pharynx it is a place where food from this buccal cavity and air from the nasal passage meet together in the pharynx but they have their own path to move so air enters through the pharynx into the larynx now the next part larynx it is also called as the sound box it produces sound in human beings so from pharynx air enters into the larynx larynx is the sound producing organ in human beings now from the larynx the air moves into the trachea this pipe it is known as the trachea now this trachea contains many rings of cartilages you can see here this trachea has many rings of cartilage you see this trachea it is like a pipe like structure and inside it the wind moves it is also called as wind pipe now it can collapse at any time if the trachea would collapse 
we would suffocate and we will die so the rings of cartilage they are made up of cartilaginous material that means the hard structure which wraps the trachea tightly so that it would not collapse so the rings of cartilage protect the trachea from collapsing so the air moves into the trachea which has many rings of cartilages you can see here now from the trachea the air enters into the bronchi or you can see the trachea divides into two bronchi this is one and this is the another one the trachea divides into two bronchi each of them entering into one is entering into the right lung another one entering into the left lung so the bronchus enter into the lungs now from in the lungs the bronchus divides further into many branches you see this is the bronchus it has many branches like in plant also a uh, main branch has divided into many different branches similarly the bronchus also divides into different branches and that branches is known as bronchioles these are the different branches that are called as the bronchioles now the bronchioles end into the alveolar sac it is sac or balloon like structure into which the exchange of gases takes place the finally exchange of gases it takes place into the alveoli or into the alveolar sac now how this exchange of gases takes place you see this is the main bronchi a uh, divided into many bronchioles and ending up into the alveoli now this alveoli it has many blood capillaries surrounding it in this surrounding portion in this surrounding portions and all many blood capillaries are located now these blood capillaries bring with them the impure blood the impure blood from the heart which is rich in carbon dioxide comes to the lungs in the finally it reaches the alveoli and this alveoli is surrounded by many capillaries which contains uh, air which is rich in carbon dioxide and the breathe in air the air which we breathe in it contains more amount of oxygen now this oxygen uh, the air which has more amount of oxygen it enters into the alveoli inside and outside has more amount of carbon dioxide so due to diffusion pressure the carbon dioxide diffuses in and oxygen diffuses out in the blood capillaries so the oxygen now comes out inside the blood capillaries which are surrounding the alveoli so oxygen in the blood now this oxygen in the blood then it is transported to various parts of the bodies uh, with the help of the hemoglobin hemoglobin in our blood it helps to transport the oxygen one hemoglobin molecule can bind to four oxygen molecules and carbon dioxide comes in the dissolved form mostly as bicarbonates in the impure blood so main uh, exchange of gases it takes place in the alveoli through the blood capillaries which surround the alveoli and this is the respiratory tract and how this respiration takes place it is the process inside the alveoli and respiration about the process of respiration let me clear you again so first air enters the nose then nasal passage then to pharynx then to larynx then to trachea then to bronchi from bronchi to bronchioles goes to alveoli and in alveoli exchange of gases takes place that's all for today about human respiratory system if you have liked the video please give a like button or click the like button please like share and subscribe